What's up, YouTube? Well, today we went to the laundromat this morning. That was so exciting. <laughs> and while that was happening, I was surfing YouTube and I found another place nearby that was so interesting. Um, so I, I pulled it up on the map and it was only 37 minutes away. So we drove out here. Adventure to afternoon, YouTube. <laughs> it's called Two Guns. And I actually, I never do this, but I got so intrigued by the story that um, I went and I looked it up on Wikipedia and I read the history of the area. So there's an old bridge over here that became obsolete because the highway got moved over there. But clear way back in the 1860s, uh, the Indians were fighting with each other out here. And there's a cave, and it's called the Apache, the Apache Death Cave. So we're going to see if we can find that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's right over under this wreck of this building. But if you're interested in what you see on the video today, look up the history on on the internet of the two guns area or the Apache death caves. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, what went on out here? Billy the kid hit out somewhere along here on one side of the river or the other. Oh, well, and what's it called? Di Di Diablo Canyon. Diablo Canyon. Yeah. Um, there hear? was a couple of guys from the ranch robbed the train and took off. And they, when they caught them, they only got a hundred bucks, but they had. 2500 in silver dollars and a whole bunch of more in gold. Yeah, and jewelry and stuff, yeah. Uh, anyways. And it's still apparently. It's still unfound. Yeah, out so here. So treasure hunters actually come out here. So we're going to look around out here. See what we can see. What we can see. And Shelly is super excited because she's a semi-pro cave, cave hiker now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, YouTube. <laughs> this time I brought a big flashlight so we could light it up. We'll see. Do you remember in the history when we read it, there was a zoo that was... Yeah, there was a guy that had a zoo that he had local animals from the area caged up and mountain lions. Right. And well, I think this is the last I think, iteration. I think so. I think it was originally over there. And then the last ditched attempt, the last rebuild... They moved it over here. So I think this was the last place that the zoo was. <laughs> Stop along the highway and see a mountain lion. There's more. There's more stuff back over yeah. there, too. Yeah. And up there. Well, this was a town at one point. Um, the yeah, they, during the mining boom. Yeah. So, they were saying that there's different generations of um, buildings out here. Might be a, the ranch, part of the ranch, too. Yeah. Okay, so you read the history, too. Yeah. This is Diablo Canyon. Yep. And that's the bridge that they commissioned the, the state of Arizona put that bridge up. Well, the way I read it, they had one originally, and then the state of Arizona put up a... a, a that one? Yeah, this one. It's so, concrete and rebar. Yeah. They put up a better bridge. And then they later rerouted the highway so this wasn't pertinent yeah. anymore. Yeah. Wasn't we don't this... know what that building over there is. Wasn't part of this along Route 66 at one time? Yes. And um, and it, it had a big tourist attraction to it, but then... But I mean, that's what this whole thing was, honey, yeah, was a tourist stop. Exactly. The Indian thing happened before the, before, before the highway and the tourism. Little Miss Shelley, who didn't even want to come on this adventure, is ready to run down in there now. <laughs> YouTube, my legs are so sore from two days of hiking. Oh, poor Bruce. I know, <laughs> but we got to go check this out, man. It's worth it. Okay, guys, we're headed down in here. 
And I'm going to tell you the history as I remember, as I just read it, was that the Apache Indians were raiding, I believe, the Navajo Indians. But don't quote me on that. Look up the history yourself. But the Apache Indians were raiding them, and they kidnapped three young girls and killed everybody else and looted the area that they were in. And the Navajo sent out a party to find them. <laughs> you can butt slide if you're uncomfortable. But they didn't find them. And then they raided another of their villages and they sent the party out the second time to track them down. And when they tracked out here, they saw smoke or warm air coming out of the ground. It was smoke. They investigated and they figured out that the Apache were, they were hiding down in these caves. And it said with their horses in the history that I read, but anyhow, they built fire with sagebrush. There was a couple of different versions, but they built fire with sagebrush on both ends of this cave to smoke them out. And then once they figured out, one of them came out and they figured out that the girls had been kidnapped, had been killed. They threw him back in and threw burning sagebrush in here and killed them all. 42 is what it says in the history book. Are in the on the internet Wikipedia so we're gonna go down in here and see what it's like down in these caves we just went down in the caves the other day so I'm not looking to go in here to the absolute to prove anything because it gets skinny and narrow I just want to go check this out a little bit we both got headlamps on and we got two backup flashlights. So what are you thinking? It's pretty interesting. I kind of caught Shelly off guard with the whole adventure. So she's still adapting to this. <laughs> There's definitely so. nobody down here. <sighs> There's still light from above? Yeah. Uh, okay, that goes away from what I saw. Portals. Oh, yeah. And then it opens up back here and it's really light. There's a airway to the surface. Hmm, that might have been where they saw the... Or here. Huh. Like I think this is the fake ruin right here. Oh, there's holes. Oh, there's old wood. Oh, some pallets. Those pallets are from the 1890s. <laughs> they had pallets back then, right? Mm -hmm. But check this out. There's obviously something going down that way. Ooh. But then there's also something going back that way. And I would say the, the majority of the cave is going that way. So I'm voting for this way. I guess people could have thrown this garbage in from the surface and not even known. Yeah. But. Forty-two. 42 people, it says. Well, this is a dead end. Unless we're going this way. Well, we're going this way. I gotcha. We're well lit back here. You can see what we're doing this time. The last cave adventure. Well, you can just see right out there. 
I saw them come down this honey until it got so skinny they had to turn sideways to get through it. So. Oh, this is a wide open room. Here. Well, there's a piece of metal hanging there, too. Yeah. That so. must be a portal to the top or something. And this is dirt. That Randy ain't going in there. <laughs> I know I that. This way. Okay, so now I can see how they can get you can get a large number number of people in this room. Ugh. Yeah. And you can look up above. Wow. That's pretty wild. But it's gonna keep going back here. I don't know why people feel the need. You you got our back on the way to get out of I here. I hope so. Huh? I hope so. Hey. <laughs> Nobody I don't want no out. hope so. <laughs> yeah. You know the way out. I think so. I ain't not coming that way till I make sure I can remember the way back the other way. Oh, I only got enough body fat for four or five days. <laughs> I don't understand this. It's for chin ups. <laughs> Somebody put a piece of rebar in here. I don't know why. Huh. It's quite low back in here. Low ceiling. And it's solid rock. It's like it is solid. Look at that. Yep. No, oh, sorry, YouTube. I get down here and I can forget. Got a flashlight in the camera. Trying to follow Blondie. And oh, not skinny, bump my head. Here's our skinny, skinny passage. Are you up for this? Yeah, I'm gonna go down this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but when it gets, if it gets too tight, I'm done. Ooh. <laughs> Don't be making none of those jokey noises. Oh, yeah, this is total. Can you see me? I can see you, but I ain't good. You're on your own there, man. Wait a minute. Does it get wider? It opens up right up here. But, yeah, you're definitely. Yeah, you're just kind of keeps on going back skinny. Don't you want to try it? No. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Hey, 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 no. Come back. Why are you here behind the corner? Hey. What? You're making me uncomfortable. You just keep on going. How far did you go Damn in? you, woman. How far did you go in? Fuck you. You got <laughs> edit. You gotta come back. I'm not going through there. How far did it go back in? Did it say? The last person was smart enough to stop right here. I don't know. It doesn't say. Well, here, hand me the camera. And the, and let me just show them what's back in here. Dude, I don't know how you can do that shit. I don't know. Give it to me, please. They want to see. Don't you guys want to see? Yeah. Don't you guys want to see? You want the big light? Oh, yeah. Because it puts out a huge... Okay. You're crazy. You're the one that got me down in here. You didn't even want to... She didn't even want to come here, YouTube. She was like, I don't know. Okay. Is it worth seeing? So, guys. I mean... If you turn your lamp off, man, it's freaking dark. We're, we, we definitely made it to the end of the I'm just barely squeezing through, but... Then it opens up a little bit. And it just kind of keeps on going back here. So I kind of came down here around the corner. You see, it just, just keeps on going. So how far, I don't know. But 
Randy's nervous. There's no light back where he was, but you can see how skinny that was coming through. And it is quiet down here. You can't even hear the freeway. But I think, I think I'll choose to go back. That's up above. So I'll turn. Hey. Yeah. Okay, guys, there's Randy being funny. <clears throat> That's with his red lights on. Got so, red lights. Yeah, so I'm going to work my way back out, and I'm going to try to show you how skinny it was coming through. So we're basically going sideways. And I'm barely fitting. <laughs> it's like, whoa, well, yeah. And, of course, there's rocks on the ground. So you got to watch. So, but right through here, it's pretty tight. And then it starts to open back up. So, so yeah, we made it through that. Okay. Piece of cake. So we'll go on up and join Randy. Here's Randy. I like this big flashlight. <laughs> This is the woman that didn't even want to come here. Now who's like, yeah! That's pretty, pretty cool. It's crazy to turn your lights off, though. It is, it is. It's is dark. Primordially dark. And this is very low. I mean, I'm not bumping my head, but. It's, it's about six foot eight. Yeah, where the dirt is low. So, <clears throat> but you can see how they could have got, you know, 48 oh, yeah. people. Down here pretty easily. 42. 42. But I don't know about the horses thing. Yeah, I but, don't know. I mean, that was like a hundred and some years ago. How so. Did they get, yeah, horses down in here. That was 120 years ago, whatever. So. You want the big flashlight? No, I don't care. I can use my small one. So you can use light your what? The small one that you have. And you can light up the way, baby. You can light my way. Okay, we're heading back out. I sure don't want to stay down here. But it's nice and cool. <laughs> but you know what? It's not as cool as the uh, Lava River Caves. Um, and it's not as moist. And it's, yeah, it's not as moist. But I tell you, I'm, I'd not be super comfortable down here for a long time. No. I mean, look at all that stuff that can still fall down, guys. Yeah. That's crazy. Pretty wild. Did you see back in here? This is like just a little crawl space back in there. Kind of doesn't go anywhere. But obviously they've built up rock here. I know, and there's some kind of a big cable there for yeah. something. But um, just kind of a crawl space back in there. Well, it's kind of nice to see some daylight. But yeah, isn't that cool? It's almost like I wouldn't hang out here. People have been dropping stuff down the hole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but like through here, it's almost like you're in a slot canyon. Wow. Yeah, I think if you're crazy, you can go in there. I'm not crazy. I'm not going in there. But I think it, it doesn't go back in very far. I don't know. That looks like it goes pretty far to me. Well. Continues on. I don't know, guys. What do you think? It looks like it, it could take a curve. I'm not going in there. But you got to crawl to get underneath. So we're too old for that kind of an adventure. <laughs> Here, Age man. got nothing to do with it. Light up my way, baby. It is interesting to see how the rocks have gotten jarred and moved and stuff. 
You know what I mean? Like back in there. And I ain't real big on standing underneath any of these. There's like the boulder of doom right there. That is pretty true. There was also this. But Ouch. you kind of have to hike to, you have to hoist yourself to get up in there. To see where it goes. I ain't going down there either. <laughs> We're not very adventuresome, huh? Watch your head on that sharp I mean, metal. We are to a point, right? People, I mean, look, this thing is fractured right there. And th that's, you get to crawl under that. Okay, guys, I, I hiked up here by this building. Um, and you can see, that's down in the tunnel there, or in the cave. But what a cool building. And I'm sorry for the sun setting. Okay guys, that was a heck of an adventure. Yes, it was. I really enjoyed it, actually. <laughs> she didn't want to come. She was very hesitant to come and do it. And then once we got here, she kind of... I don't know. Maybe I'm an adrenaline junkie. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty All cool. All I know is... It was pretty cool being down in there and experiencing it. So... Yeah. So right behind us, you can see the last, the last attempt at reviving this after the highway rerouted was this gas station here which is completely defunct now. Yeah, completely covered in graffiti and it's toast. It's it's there's nothing left. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this adventure and uh hope you have lots of love in your life and people to go adventuring with and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.